Howdy folks, it's Dr. Z returning to Vita 2014, Day 28, with what was supposed to be a viewer comment special, but with no comments, no questions, this would be the shortest video possible, eh? Instead, I'll keep this a short video with one last pharmacy story for the time being. When I was in pharmacy school, there was the angry pharmacist and the drug monkey. Now there's the cynical pharmacist, and this is a pharmacy, not a fast food joint. All these sorts of self-referential places of comedy and tragedy in pharmacy are geared for the population who find it funny to begin with, the pharmacist and technicians alike. Like with memes where there's the most interesting man saying, I don't always refill early, but when I do, I'm going on vacation because I dropped some of my meds in the toilet and my brother stole a handful, and the rest were run over with a lawnmower. Who else would understand that we actually do meet these kinds of patients other than those in the profession? Doctors are insulated given that their form of communication is solely from the nurses they work with. Nurses are most likely unable to get our perspectives unless they are working their other job in the pharmacy since they don't get paid enough. And dentists? Yeah, they're kind of removed from the entire situation. So luckily, there was one situation where I happened to enlighten someone to what pharmacists can experience on an odd day in the fall. The phone rang, and I picked it up. Thank you for calling. Yeah, skip the spiel. I got a problem. Wonderful. I'm working with an interrupter. Okay, how may I help? I work in the outreach division of ABC Insurance, and one of my patients just got discharged from the hospital for a workman's comp claim. I need to make sure that his medications are covered. Well, it seems that we already ran the medications through, and they seem to be covered. Well, what's the cost? Uh, $35 for all of it. Well, that's too much for him. We need to make it free. Ma'am, how long have you been working for this company? Look, I know what I'm talking about. His coverage should be able to cover every med he was discharged with. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do at the moment. There's no override or some sort of trick that I know of that I can do unless you're able to provide something. You said you work for the insurance company? Well, yeah, but I'm the outreach department. Let me connect us with someone from coverage to figure out the problem. Let me give you a call back. I'll, I'll, I'll just figure this out. Okay, so I'm sitting here thinking, why didn't you call them to begin with? Later on, she calls back. Hey, this is so-and-so from ABC Insurance, and I have what's-her-name from coverage on the line to help us out. Hi, what's your name? Hi, what can I do to help out? I start, so he seems to be on some pain medications, and all of those seem to be completely covered at no charge. But then there's a few things that are being billed back at full price. Like the blood pressure medication? The nurse chimes in, blood pressure medication? Why would the doctor prescribe him that for a workman's comp? I state, more than likely because his blood pressure was elevated? Since the obvious didn't seem to be standing out. Well, that's not within his coverage. I, I don't get why the doctor would do that. So, I, I guess that's just the way it's gotta be. Okay, so you're saying that if he's readmitted for poor blood pressure control, it's not within the scope of workman's comp? Nope. Okay, um, I guess next is his bowel medications. Bowel? Why would he be getting that? And I thought to myself, aren't you a nurse? I mean, eh, whatever. Then I say, well, when you're on this many pain medications, it can shut down your bowel, so you need something to help move through. Oh, okay. Well, then it should be covered. What's your name chimes in? Ma'am, it's over the counter, so the plan won't cover it. So-and-so then says, I am the plan, so cover it. Ma'am, I have no idea how. Well, I know this patient won't file a paper claim or anything, and he needs this for free, so let me talk to your supervisor. Okay, let me put you on a brief hold, says what's your name, and off to Muzak land we go. So as so-and-so and I wade through the unsettling Muzak that the insurance incessantly has to play, she asks me, this is what you deal with on a daily basis? Coverage that makes no sense in doctors who are lunatics? Well, not all the time, but they can certainly monopolize your day. I feel sorry for you. I, I truly do. I just thought that you put the drugs together and threw them out the door. And that got me thinking, back to my original perception of pharmacy. That's almost exactly what I thought, almost a decade earlier. So much has changed, and I view the profession in such a different light, that when I think of how the general public just scratches the surface of what we do, they never get to see or experience the kinds of stresses and situations we get put into on a daily basis. Sad thing is, I feel sorry for us too but more so I feel sad for our patients. They will more than likely never see what happens, let alone care more than what's necessary. And sites like the angry or cynical pharmacist do little to help that perception. It makes us pharmacy folk laugh, sure, but patients will ultimately feel like we're mocking them, which sometimes we are. 
Yet, when these situations keep popping up and eating up hour after hour, we need to do something else. In a favorite show of mine, Raylan from Justified had this one line that epitomizes this perfectly. You know, when you run into an asshole in the morning, you just ran into an asshole. You run into assholes all day, then you're the asshole. On one hand, the so-called assholes keep walking to our pharmacy, or sending us prescriptions, or ringing up the phone. They generally just muck up our whole day. But on the flip side, are we the assholes who keep messing up everyone else's day because we seem to be in a funk? We honestly need to do something differently, and instead make people aware of what we do in a manner that makes them care, just like the nurse in my story. Not that I think we should have everyone call us up and then have a conference call with every insurance company in the world, but at least make an attempt to have the patient, the nurse, the insurance agent, the doctor be a part of this process instead of having us take on the full burden. Only with cooperation will they not only have a sense of accomplishment, but also get a sense of what power, or lack thereof, we wield in our community. Okay, so not so short video, but it was something that I didn't realize that I needed to get off my chest until now. Hopefully, that was entertaining and enlightening for you. Tomorrow is another reflection video, so be sure to tune in for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching, like and share my videos, subscribe to my channel. I've been Dr. Z, now signing out. Have a great night.